Hello all, this is Halloween, and if you love Halloween and costumes as much as I do, it's Halloween! And now's the time I'm going to be showing you how to make some awesome costumes without breaking the bank. Maybe even using some items you already have at home. This is a late upload because I've been so crazy busy this year. I actually had a sewing injury, so I couldn't sew for like a week. I had to wait till my hand got better. So it's been a little tricky getting through this last couple weeks here. Today, we will be recreating Elizabeth Taylor's Cleopatra from the 1963 film Cleopatra. Let's get started. So today we are starting to create Elizabeth Taylor's Cleopatra when she was wearing the yellow dress. I've done Cleopatra before, very traditional, you know, with the beaded headdress and all of that. I like to do things unconventional sometimes. And this was an iconic role from the old Cleopatra movie with Richard Burton and Elizabeth Taylor. And for me, I looked through all of her looks and the yellow dress just got me. For one thing, yellow is one of my favorite colors. So that's what we're doing today. Now this dress I bought online, another dress, it looks like I bought it from Wish, but we're gonna fix that. I paid about 40 something bucks for it, which is the bummer because it's really cheap material. It wasn't worth that, um, but it's got good bones. So I'm gonna try and fix it. I bought two yards of white chiffon. I bought about four yards of this beautiful yellow lightweight satin. This is actually a cheap satin they usually use to line jackets and stuff with. That's that's what this is. But if you want to do something cheaper, I mean, if you buy actual satin, it's going to cost quite a bit of money. And I have a turban here. I bought a beautiful gold headband to go with. And I'm going to be covering that turban with flowers. I don't have the flowers yet. I actually don't have everything I need for this costume yet. But... As I go, I'll be showing you what I'm doing and, and what I've purchased. And as usual, I will have everything that I used in the description down below. I bought some of this cording to go around the middle, the midsection, and then just a couple of accessories that I plan to use. Of course, you got to have the snake wrap around armband. Now, this is going to be short sleeves, so I'm cutting the sleeves off of this as well. And then a um, little gold gold accessories. I'll have gold shoes, which I don't have yet either. So let's get started. The first thing I'm going to do with this awful dress is iron it. It came balled up in a bag. So I'm going to iron it and cut the sleeves off. And then I've got to try it on and then we'll go from there. I'll show progress shots as we go. Believe it or not, this dress is an extra large. So it also, not only was it not as pictured but it also runs about five sizes too small <laughs> so the first order of business is i have to make this dress fit me i've got to add some fabric into the top because i'm i'm busty and not only am i busty i'm big chested like my whole my rib cage is big just my rib cage and my shoulders and everything so i'm gonna make this dress fit me and i'll show you how i do that
here we are the final costume of october halloween 2022 and it's a beautiful one i think typically most years i have some kind of theme it seems like this year it was queens i did a lot of queens i did maleficent i did marie antoinette and now we're doing cleopatra um if you consider madonna queen of pop we did her too so uh let's get on with our last queen here i was reluctant to use a foundation i've been using neutrogena build a tan trying to get a little tanner because i'm super fair but i'm going to use i think this dark it's not dark but like a it's like a brown uh blush or contour here and maybe some of this bronzy looking stuff and kind of try and paint my face with that i am going to use a little of the kat von d foundation just like under my eyes um you know and on my forehead to just highlight a little bit but i don't want to go crazy with this stuff because it's really light and then once i do that a little bit on my nose just to make it look a little more evenly toned that's about all i'm going to do with the foundation and then i'm going to try and highlight using this bronzy it's a bronze color kind of looks like she, like sheer pantyhose color and i'm going to use that kind of all around my face we'll see how that works oh yeah it's kind of shiny bronzy might just do a little down here just to gloss it up just put that all over I think I'm gonna put a little foundation on my chin. So I hope everyone's had a wonderful Halloween season. It is just my favorite holiday. Cause it always has been, it reminds me of my childhood. And although some people may not like Halloween or celebrate Halloween or think it's Satan's holiday, I always say it's my holiday. I'm not giving any credit to that, that thing for my holiday. <laughs> you know, I like to get dressed up. I think it's super fun. It's, it's basically make-believe. Who doesn't love being whatever you want to be at least once a year? It's pretty cool. So, this was a great movie, Cleopatra. If you hadn't seen it, it is an older movie. So, from 1963. 1963's Cleopatra. It's a long movie. So, if you're, you know, put aside three hours to watch it. I, I remember it being pretty long. But it's so good, and the costumes in it are just gorgeous. Gorgeous. Now, it would have been great to do the gold costume, but I didn't have the time for that. Maybe someday. Maybe we can do different versions. All right, this is great. This is actually working out quite well. Give me a nice little glossy glow. Then I'm going to go in with the, the browner one. But yes, so Elizabeth Taylor was known for being married a lot. She was married eight times. Two of those times she was married to Richard Burton who played Julius Caesar in Cleopatra which is basically her co-star in that film and that's where they met and fell in love. So they were married in 1964 and they were married for 10 years from 1964 to 1974. In their 1964 wedding she wore a look that I believe was inspired by this Cleopatra yellow dress look in her 1964 wedding to Richard Burton. I mean, pretty similar, right? So I'm gonna just go around with this darker, the brown color, and now I'm just kind of, I'm almost like contouring with blush, just to look a little bronzy. Today is Halloween. I'm actually filming on Halloween and trying to get this edited and released all in the same day. <laughs> I, um, like I was mentioning before, I had a sewing injury that kept me from sewing for at least a week. Like my hand just could not do any more. And this year, actually, I've been doing a lot of sewing and usually I don't have that much sewing to do. But this year in particular, I just did so much that I injured myself and I had to stop. I, I had no choice. So that's the reason really for putting this out when it is on a Monday, which I don't normally do, but I thought, hey, it's Halloween. 
anyway, so this will be my Halloween video, right? So right now I'm just kind of contouring. I'm actually exhausted today. Every year around this time, I'm so tired. Like I'm just ready for the holidays to come and November, December, because I kind of take a little bit of a leave of absence. I'm still doing my cemetery videos. I'm gonna have some really cool stuff coming up. And I'm still doing like cemeteries, haunted places and stuff like that. So November 6th will be my first Kentucky video from when we went to Louisville, Kentucky. So you're gonna wanna check that out because those are really cool. Some very beautiful, a very beautiful cemetery there. And then very much the opposite at the Eastern Cemetery. So those were really cool. Now I'm gonna do my eyebrows. And I just looked at a picture of Elizabeth Taylor. And Elizabeth Taylor was kind of known for a thicker brow. So just kind of drawing her in. So her brow line was a little shorter than what I have naturally so so nobody told me what they're gonna be for Halloween I'm trying to get y'all to you know share cuz I'd love to know but didn't really get any responses maybe no one's celebrating huh this is a Liz Taylor eyebrow right here it's kind of I haven't been competing or going out to contests or you know Halloween costume parties for about three years now you know, with everything going on, I just kind of lost interest in doing that. And, but I kind of feel at the same time because I didn't do it, like I didn't celebrate Halloween. So I think next year I'm gonna go start going out again, at least to the, a small contest or something and just go. Because I do miss it. So that's our Liz Taylor brow. I'm gonna do the other one off camera. I've got my Liz Taylor brows. And the bronze actually looks really good. Sometimes it's hard to see in this lighting, so I step away to look. The bronze looks really pretty cool, so um, that worked out very well. I didn't even need the Neutrogena. I don't know if that stuff works, you know? The only thing that got kind of brown was the palm of my hand where I have calluses and stuff from doing all kinds of stuff. That's the only part that really got brown. It's a gimmick. Just go out in the sun and get yourself a tan, you know what I mean? You know, not a burn, but a tan. So, I pulled up Liz on my phone here. Gorgeous makeup, gorgeous. That's what we're doing right there. So she has a blue eyeshadow. I actually noticed some sparkle. So I have these uh, lashes that have rhinestones on them. I'm going to use. They're from years ago, so hopefully they still work. And we'll start in with our, I think I'm gonna go a little deeper with the brow. And I have my little Q-tip here to wipe any excess. Now here is something that I've noticed too, is that the brow comes to about right here and straight down. So my goal for the next couple months here is to learn how to use my sewing machine so that I can be a lot more uh, efficient with my costumes and even make some for people at their request you know because I love making them so that's gonna be next year I'm gonna be a lot more efficient <laughs> I'll be able to make even better costumes we're gonna do that same thing here I have to steady my hand all I had today was some blueberry cereal so far I forgot to thaw meat out for lunch So I have a crooked face, so that's as good as it's gonna get, you know. I can't get them super, super even because one side's higher than the other, naturally, so. So for her beautiful blue makeup, I have this lighter color that I'll be using from the Kat Von D Edge of Reality palette. And once I have that on, I'm probably gonna go in my crease with this darker blue color. Um, I think that one's called Midnight. Something like that. Abyss, it's called Abyss, I think. Anyway, not important. Because uh, as per usual, you can use any blue eyeshadow you want to. It's just, it's blue, so anything blue. 
will work. I'm trying to think if I wanna do my liner first and then the eyeshadow. I think that will make sense. I think I'm gonna do that because it's going to give me my boundaries for when I do my, my shadow. So, kinda like painting in the lines. So, or coloring in the lines. Now her, her cat eye, or Egyptian eye, not really a cat eye, it goes all the way into her corner of her eye. You don't wanna pull on your eye too much because you will get an uneven line. So that's gonna be it. The thing I don't like about these precision liners is that they do, they're not as um, smooth as a brush. The line sometimes looks a little hairy, but that's okay. We've got our little things here. Clean that up. Now it goes straight out. It's hard to do for me because my eyes are about as round as they get. All right, what you wanna do with that is go to the end of the brow, where the brow ends. And then it goes up like this, actually a little past it I would say. For this yellow dress look, she actually had an open cat eye. I am keep calling it cat eye because it's an Egyptian eye, but it was hollow, open. I might go inside of that with a bit of gold because you can't really see it too well. But The lines on an Egyptian eye is very sharp and precise. I'm gonna probably take a little bit of a wet Q-tip or something and go in the center and open it up a bit. So that's what her, what her eye looked like there. It was hollow, I'm not gonna color that in. Not for the yellow dress anyway. Now we're gonna go across our top lid. That is looking very Egyptian. I'm gonna see if she does anything to her waterline. I'm gonna guess if anything, she uses a black on her waterline. Yeah, I thought getting a straight line without little particles coming up is easier with a brush, in my opinion, but you can use whatever, whatever black liquid liner you want. Now I'm just gonna let that dry and do my other eye. Here's where we're at. Stepped off camera to do the other one. It's just easier that way. I still don't have like the most awesome lighting and sometimes I can't see very good, so. Plus that would be a really long video. So that looks great. Now I think we'll start with our eyeshadow. <clears throat> so I'm going in with this really light color first. It's not actually that light. It's a blue. We're gonna go all the way up to our brow. There we are. That's what we want, it's like that. And do the same to the other side. And I think I'm gonna go inside of our open area here with some gold. I think that'll look really good. I actually have to leave and go do somebody else's makeup pretty soon, so. I don't usually do that. I am doing that today. Maybe it's a service I'll provide in the future. <laughs> like for other people. All the way down to where our little point is there. And then we're gonna fill in. I've got something on my, I think I got some, uh, some nose and scar wax on my brush here. same thing to the other side. I wet the tip of this and I'm gonna get some of this really pretty gold color out of here and I'm gonna go inside the hollow part with that. See if that works. I think it will. We'll see. Oh yeah, it does. Looks good too. It's kind of small but you can see that.
that's it. Let's see. I'm going to do my waterline with black as I figured it was. Now I'm going to do some mascara and then I'm going to put my eyelashes on off camera because um, that's a little awkward. <laughs> and I'm going to wear a nude lipstick and that's it. That's the makeup. Cleopatra. I think it looks pretty good. We do I have the headdress on and the earrings and everything. It's going to just be cool. I think. Got a little bit of... This is just my regular nude lipstick. I used this for Ratchet. Nurse Ratchet. Um, she's kind of wearing a peach color. I don't really have a peach color, but... This is close. All right, I'm gonna put on my eyelashes. All dressed up and ready for photos. Thank you so much for joining me again today. I hope you loved this classic Cleopatra look from Elizabeth Taylor. And I hope you all have an amazing Halloween. It's been a great ride this year. I think starting December, I'm gonna start doing costumes again at least once a month. So you won't wanna miss opportunities to start getting started on your costume early this year. You're gonna have a lot to choose from. Please be safe tonight. Make sure you're checking your children's candy. Remember, in the months to come, I will still be doing my cemetery and haunted history videos. So make sure you like, subscribe, and share. I'll see you next time. Happy Halloween!